and China have introduced a new program dubbed I Go Ghana to scale up the number of tourists in the two countries. The Minister for Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Mrs. Catherine Afiku, said the I Go Ghana campaign will also help increase trade between Ghana and China. Ghana is well endowed with tourism potential, ranging from forts, castles, beaches, and other interesting sites. Tourist sites like the Dafia Memonkin Sanctuary, Kakum National Park, Taga Crocodile Pond, Kintampo Waterfalls, Buti Falls, and many other sites across the country continue to attract several tourists all year round. Aside these potentials, Ghana's diverse cultural traditions also add value to the country's tourism potential. However, Ghana is yet to maximize the full benefits of the tourism industry as a means to promote trade. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, Ghana's tourism sector directly contributed 2.62 billion cities to Ghana's GDP in 2013, representing 3% of GDP. This puts the country above the global average of 2.9%. With a huge population of China, the Ministry of Tourism for Ghana sees China as a market that can be utilized to boost Ghana's tourism turnover, hence the launch of the IGO Ghana. It is expected to deepen Ghana-China relations through tourism. We have a 241-acre enclave that we are aggressively pursuing to develop as the iconic tourism destination in Accra. And this calls for opportunities for banks, especially such as yourself with our Stambic partner, to look into supporting indigenous businesses. And the Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Shitin Wang, said this move will further boost Ghana-China relations. The number of the Chinese tourists to Africa is more than 30 million present time. And they spent more than 20 billion US dollars in Africa. Unfortunately, only a small number of Chinese tourists came to Ghana, and only a small percent of those money was spent in Ghana. With the support of Industrial and Commercial Bank of China and Standard Bank, industry watchers are of the view 